Deputy President Raghavi Gachagwa has asked Boda Boda riders to guard the subsector against infiltration by criminal gangs disguising as entrepreneurs. Speaking Monday in Nairobi during the launch of Nyandarua County Boda Yangu Officer Yangu training program, the Deputy President said the government is keen on supporting the Boda Boda subsector, which is a key driver of the country's economy. While asking the riders to obey the law, Mr. Gachagwa said the police have been asked to work with them in bringing sanity to the subsector. The program, which is sponsored by the Nyandarua County Woman Representative Faith Gitau under the National Government Affirmative Action Fund will train 256 riders on savings and investment uptake of National Health Insurance Fund, road safety and etiquette, among other soft skills. The deputy president cautioned against attempts to allow criminal gangs, particularly in the Mount Kenya region. He stated that the Ruto administration is investing in various ways in small-scale businesses such as introduction of electric motorcycles and implementation of the Hustler Fund. In regard to alcoholism, the deputy president said that although the government was making progress in eradicating illegal and illicit brews in central Kenya region, some governors have become a hindrance to the crackdown. He, however, said that despite the challenges arising from the county bosses, the fight against alcoholism and drug abuse was unstoppable and there was no compromise. Where the motorcycle industry has arrived, it has also left many families in distress and further poverty through road accidents. Between 2018 and 2022, we lost 4,976 riders through road accidents. This was fairly on a rising rate from only 591 in 2018 and 1,252 in 2022. This is very tragic. In some of these cases, riders died because they could not access quality medical care as it comes with a cost. The government is reforming the National Hospital Insurance Fund for low contributions but with enhanced benefits. President William Ruto has pronounced himself that low-income in, in, low earners will enjoy better benefits on monthly contributions, which will be less than the 500 shillings being paid presently. We must have 100% NHIF registration for border border riders, not only in Nyandarwa but also across the country. You are an important plug in fixing climate change challenges. I encourage you to consider riding green to help us fight climate change by reducing carbon emissions in fossil fuel. On this note, we welcome the ongoing discussions between the Nyadarwa Border Border Association and indeed the Mount Kenya Region Group with the National Government Administration Officers in creating a framework of planting trees in climate action. I would like to suggest that the disappearing lake or Bolosat be your priority in this regard. The importance of savings cannot be gainsaid. In this business, accidents sometimes cause permanent disabilities. It means a rider may not go back to active business. It calls for savings. It is commendable that some border border circles and self-help groups have saved and invested in real estate and other sectors. The Nyandarwa Border Border Association has worked hard and invested in a petrol station and some property. Surely this is a way to go. Esteemed office managers and guests, in conclusion, I wish to commend the border border subsector across the country for the contribution to the economy. In our plan, we have a shoe that fits your foot. Do not be left behind in affordable housing and the hustler fund. For those who are farmers, I urge you to register to benefit from phase two of subsidized fertilizer program as we enhance food security and cut down the cost of living. As Antenna Sana, border border is a critical subsector of the economy of this country. Earning an average of 1,000 shillings a day, the over 1.2 million riders are supporting up to 6 million Kenyans while you're injecting about 365 billion Kenya shillings to our economy annually. This subsector has also provided job opportunities, with the youth being the most beneficiaries, accounting for 75% of the total riders. Women have not been left behind. They account for 6% of the riders here represented by Magdalene Jerry. The advent and rapid rise of commercial motorcycles has eased movement of goods and services across the country. You are the real warriors of our economy.
transport managers training program will without a doubt uplift the standards of the riders in Nyadarwa County through entrenching and investing culture, securing health insurance and enhancing interpersonal relation skills while on duty. I commend Mami Mwega, Wairimo Gitao, under the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, KEMU and other partners for this great initiative. It is a program worth scaling up across the country. Our word to your excellency, dio tunatumia kule mashinani more than anybody else, more than even matatus, ama um, unajua gari za um, mashinani. Our dio wanajua networks kule chini. Kitu kikiharibika ni hawa. Mtu wa kigojeka ni hawa tunaita. Usiku wa manane ni hawa. Na wale wanadhulumiwa sana ni hawa. So nikaonelea lazima tuangalie na tuangalie vilivyo. Nikaona lazima tupa, tuapatie training kidogo na mimi kama mama county uh, through GAF singeweza peke yangu. Nikaona tushikane pamoja na institutions na dio tukakuja pamoja na kemu and thank you very much hapa leo watatrainiwa they will be trained thoroughly hata kuvaa mavasi hata kuweka kadimu na hapa hivi sio ku smell my sweat all the time wakibeba pasi jatasikia ni kama ako kwa gari what wana trainiwa uh, jinsi ya you know personal relationship with the client sio kuwaongelesha tu hivyo wao wenyewe wana trainiwa traffic rules na ingine wana trainiwa leo ni jinsi you know the way they should protect themselves even from the police that's why we have the bootsman today here kwa sababu they have their rights na lazima wajue rights zao ni gani Today we have 256 office managers here and we are calling them trainer of trainers. Wataenda chini grassroots in conjunction with Kemu and other stakeholders. Tutaenda chini mashinani and we, we are going to train all the others. So etiquette training inaanza leo hapa hapa. Hata ukiwaangalia leo Wanakawa smart. Ah, muko smart. Hamuku ni agusha leo. <laughs>